defense? I thought it was more than solid in terms of our defending. And uh, that was probably the most pleasing part of it. Um, you know, obviously should have won the game. We had chances. We hit the post. Um, so you feel like uh, in some ways you deserve better. But uh, I thought we defended very well. And that needs to be the formula on the road moving forward. Um, it's keeping things tight, staying compact and defending well. And hopefully you take your chances. I thought we did, but uh, didn't get, you know, the bounce on a couple, uh, a couple shots. Can you talk to the difference in control between the halves? Because you guys came out a lot more aggressive in the second half. I don't know about that. I thought we came out well in the first half. The first 10 minutes, I thought we were good. We got a couple chances, just as good as they they were. Uh, you know, Towards the middle part, maybe we absorbed a little bit, but then I thought we came to life at the end of the first half as well. So I thought overall it was a very good performance. Um, you know, So we'll take the point. They don't make up any ground on us, and uh, you know we got to come back now against Chicago and get three points. Message the team after today's game? Uh, same thing, I just told you guys. Good point, good defending, we'll build on that. Um, you know, and uh, unfortunate not to get the three points. Thanks, Caleb. Guys? Can you update uh, us on Alvis Powell? Uh, back spasm. So in warm up, he uh, you know, had a tight back and they worked on him and he got, they got it loosened up and then obviously it tightened up again. So he had to had to come out at halftime, so he'll be fine for next week. But I thought Taylor did a good job when he went in in the second half. And Gaston wasn't in the team. Was that a coaching yeah. decision or an injury? Every decision is a coaching yeah, decision, but... right? <laughs> was it injury related or was it just coaching decision? Okay. Like you said, yeah. <laughs> All right. Is, well, is Diego first for the PKs? Is it first in the team for the PKs? Yeah, I mean we have different guys that take them, but uh, Diego's taking them. He's, he's scored. Will Johnson scored. But you know you want guys that want them. And he, wanted it and uh, you know he's probably our most technical player so uh, even world-class players miss PKs um, you know a couple inches uh, lower and it's a goal um, so been unlucky but he'll win he'll win games for us here in the next 11 no doubt about it and uh, like I said I think our, our back line and our goalkeeper and our overall team defending was was exceptional and you know it probably needed a little bit of confidence on that side of things. So we'll really now, I think, uh, look more confident defensively, especially on the road. And we know that we can grind out points, which is what you need to do in this league. You know, and if you can't win, then you better not lose. You've given up a lot of goals on the road recently, something that's been uncharacteristic of your teams over the last two and a half years or so. Yeah. Was that it. sort of priority number one uh, coming into this game today? Well, I think it has to be on the road, you know what I mean? Uh, priority number one at home is to win, and to win you have to score. On the road, priority number one is to defend well and then try to take your chances. Um, and I think we've got a little bit out of kilter the last three games, almost trying to play at home, play on the road like we've been at home, and, and uh, we've been opened up. So I think we got the formula right today, and like I said, with a a little bit better bounce on the two two posts, then we come out of here with three points. You brought Milano in again in the second half, but this time it looked like in a little bit in, in the striker position versus on the wing. Um, what did you see in him uh, in that position? Well, I think he uh, immediately changed the game um, because their back four dropped off immediately. You know, there was the one play where there was a ball in behind and he almost uh, stripped, I think it was Stewart. And from that point forward, their whole back four played probably five to ten yards deeper, which opened up space for Valeri and, and Nagby. And we started to kind of, you know, get a grip on the game. And we thought we were going to find uh, the goal. And, you know, they had a couple counters, but we really looked to be the team that was, you know, trying to win the game. So he'll have that impact, uh, you know, where the, where the opponent has to worry about him threatening in that space behind. And, you know, a couple moments where he... He got shots, um, but you know he'll continue to get better. He's still missing that match fitness and match sharpness. Um, he hasn't played a game in I don't know how long, four or five months. So uh, it's going to take some time for him, him to get comfortable. But he'll make an impact whether he starts a cup or comes off the bench because he brings a different dimension. We're only you know 45 minutes into the Milano era with the Timbers, but we've seen him already on the wing. We've seen him alone up top, and we've seen him paired up top in a two front. Yeah. Are you still experimenting with him, trying to figure out where he goes? Uh, well, I don't think we played him up top as in a two front. You know, we started him up top and then moved him wide in this game. Um, 
so we haven't actually played him up top on the two front. Uh, we've done it in training, but uh, that's why we like him. He's versatile. We can put him, you know, in any of the front four spots, and uh, that's great because you know we've got a team here. And we've got good players, and you know I thought Adi had a good, good game, and uh, you know Maxi brings some things to the table. So it's going to be important that he's versatile and can play different positions, and and yet we want him to settle in as well. But uh, we need to figure out, you know where he's going to play, and it'll probably depend on the other players in the game.